See you later. Welcome to Dr. Mix. Hey, how you guys doing? You guys super cool? It's early in the morning. Um, today is a very special day because I am going to Rhodes Music Group up in Leeds here in the United Kingdom and see how they build a Rhodes piano. You want to really, really, really be subscribed to this channel and you want to stay until the end because they're going to reveal to me my very own roads. I don't think it's finished yet, but we'll be able to see at what stage of built it is. Are you ready for a road trip? And who do we have in the car? The Dr. Mix team! No. Meet Alex <laughs> and Louis! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Basically, we're going to the factory, so I understand that the factory is like a, a boutique company and uh, they make this individually, so we're going to see different stations. The man in charge is Dan and uh, he is a Rhodes technician, one of, one of the best ones. <clears throat> Turns out Dan is a lot more than just a great Rhodes technician, as you will find out later in the video. Uh, back to it. As far as I understand, management was clever enough to put him in charge of the product because he knows a lot more than anyone else in this country. It looks like we're gonna have quite a bit of fun. Driven what three hours and a half? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're finally there. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone told me, man, you know that one day I would be driving in a car with my team to go check out the roads that they're building for me. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, man. Good to see you! Hi! Hi! Hi. 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 Nice! Welcome to Leeds. So this is top secret? Oh yeah, this is the top secret lab. Top secret lab! It's going... <laughs> oh. Hello everyone! Uh, this is the team here. Hi. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome guys. <gasps> no way! This was like... Um, this was an old piano that we were using as a test bed for, for the parts. Um, it's actually from a Mark 7 piano, uh, which have a, a really nice action. Um, so, this is a Mark 7 piano. Yeah, this is a this is the insides of a, Ro a Rose Mark 7. Um, and the the black hammers here are new hammers that we use in the Mark 8, and the white ones are the the original Mark 7 hammers. Wow. See, we're doing a, we did a few experiments on there. We were trying different put a little stop in here to stop key bounce and things like that. So we basically use this as a, a test bed for, to prove all the new parts before we started rolling them into bigger bulk orders. Wow. So it was probably like two years of testing of parts. Uh, you know, just to make these hammers, you're actually, you deal on like a micron level. 
it's like travel up and down in a in a, in a mm -hmm. linear way with a min, you know minimal amount of side to side movement. You know the old pianos would have a lot of the hammers would kind of go all over the place like when when they drop down and so that basically every every part of this piano has been a project in itself <laughs> right down to the last screw. You know. Wow. This is a Mark 8. This is a Mark 8, the inside of a Mark 8, yeah. This is the inside of a Mark 8. <laughs> yeah. So all the other pianos that are in Can this I room. Can I touch it? Yeah, of course, yeah. No way. Are you joking? What? What do you think? Wow. <laughs> you see, we we've almost completely killed all the key bounce. Uh, it's just so snappy and like compared to an old one dude this feels like a ferrari I mean, you know what's Thanks, surprising man. the the precision mm -hmm. between keys the the alignment no gaps no slack yeah it's like yeah it's like solid the whole keyboard and the frame underneath it come to us from a company called kluger in germany who are part of the steinway group so they make all the keyboards that you'll find in like Steinway concert grands. It's the same quality of workmanship and, and materials that you'll find. You know, so it if, really if, shows, man. So if you pull a key out, you know, you'll see the, the, the beauty of the workmanship, you know. Um, if I take out, they stamp these on the bottom. Um, that's, that's the company there. So this is specially made for roads to our specifications. Um, so every key has its own number? So every keyboard that's supplied to Rhodes has, its, has a unique st uh, stamp on it, serial number. Wow. Yeah, so we can trace it to batches. Um, and these, are these pianos that you see in here today, these are literally the first 12 in the world. In case you missed it, these are the first 12 Rhodes Mark VIII in existence on the planet. All right, let's go. What do I see there? This one? Yeah. This is a walnut bass version of the piano. So we have two versions that will be available to start with, which is the... Okay, that, I'm getting hot. Uh, you have yeah, to yeah, forgive sorry, I, <laughs> I have to. We haven't, got any <laughs> we haven't got any sprinklers, so I can't switch them No, on, it's but. just the temperature <laughs> is raising inside of my body. <laughs> oh... The majority of the parts in this piano are all made in the UK by local, local suppliers within an hour, two hours of Leeds, and a lot are actually made in Leeds. Um, there's so much amazing industry for woodwork, metal work. The wood one is nuts. It's definitely a, a nice piece for the studio, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this one of the prototypes, so there's still more work to do but um, gives you an idea. The electronics are all prototypes at the minute, so hence this long cable and everything. But yeah, you can see the precision of all the, the parts and yeah. Wow. So I can go through every single part and tell you where it's made. You know, so I, I know, I know it like. Like know. for example, like how, how about like the tines, for example? So the tines are made in Leeds, about a mile from here. Um, the, the felts are made in Lancashire, the dampers are made in Leeds, the hammers are made in Huddersfield, the plastic, all the plastic parts, so the dials, the hammers, the logos, everything is made in Huddersfield. Dude, the action on this thing is... Guys, give, give me adjectives here. <laughs> it's... it's... Yeah. super real. Uh, until you feel it. All you can equate it to is an old roads, but it's nothing, it's not even in the same it, ballpark. It feels like I'm, I'm playing like a high quality piano with the feel of a Rhodes. This is nuts. Yeah. Nuts. The shape 
of yeah. this front panel. It's so classic in a way and so modern. Mm -hmm. So how did you come out? Did you, did you decide I'm gonna take the lines and how did you do that? So we enlisted Axel Hartman. You know, Axel who designed all the Moog instruments and Archoria instruments. He was my first port of call. I didn't know whether he'd be interested, but when I first told Axel, he was just, I remember him saying, the hairs on my, on my arms are standing up with the feeling that you've just told me that I could be part of designing the new roads. And it still is very reminiscent of a Mark One. It's definitely very reminiscent of the Mark One. But going into the future as well, so that's what we, that's, that represents the new roads is paying massive respect to the past, but also taking it forward at the same time, which is the whole remit of the instrument. So on this panel, we've got the volume, obviously. Envelope is, a, is what, an auto wah? Is that what it is? So that's essentially, that's an amount of the filter. The, the, um, the mid-range on the EQ is actually a voltage control filter. Oh. Resonant filter. So you can assign the envelope, you can send the amount of keyboard signal that goes to that filter, like you said, an, like an auto wah. Wow. And the drive, obviously, is a drive, and... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's all completely analog. <laughs> so the, the entire signal path is analog. This is the, uh, the famous uh, pan yeah. effect. And then I see that you can choose different waves. Yeah. So you've got sine waves, triangle. This is a sort of ramp. Yeah, an upwards ramp, yeah. And square, which is the original one. And here you've got compressor. Probably 75. Yep. Chorus, mm -hmm. phaser, <laughs> and delay. <laughs> yeah, and these, these are bucket brigade effects. So these bucket brigade chips, the delay and the chorus. The compressor is kind of like a, a classic, like a bus compressor that you'd find in like a classic kind of mixing desk. Can I take a look to that black one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> black looks slick. It looks nice, doesn't it? And, uh, Full black. Now the lid, which is kind of like a classic Rhodes lid, really. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's great because you can actually lay other keyboards on top of it. Yeah, it's completely flat on the top. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, and also we have this kind of grill in the back where there'll be like an upgrade pack where you can specify LEDs to go under the lid. And it will light up the badge at the back as well. So I am about to see my actual unit being built. That is correct. Which one is it? It's this one. This beauty over here, which is in progress. <laughs> That's my roads. Not set up yet and about to have hammer tips put on and all be regulated. Yeah, we're just putting it together. And this is the very first time I play it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that Steve is getting one. Oh, Steve, Stevie will be getting one, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so it can be any of these colors. Yeah, there's a, we've got a red one as well, which we haven't got here. I, all right, <laughs> so here's the question. Internet, what color should I get in my roads? <laughs> you have to leave a comment here below, and, and I really wanna, I wanna see that, right? Yeah. That, 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 that's how it should go, right? Yeah, yeah. You choose it for me. So this is the translucent, smoked translucent as well, which is nice. This is the first prototype one that we did. Looks pretty. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Wait, didn't you tell me that on the website I can do a mock-up? Yeah. Mock-up time. <laughs> internet let's choose my rose now look at that so if we make it red <laughs> that's sick to the bone look at that um bottom shell let's i think oh classic that's classy black and wood, yeah. black and wood.
All right. Is that the one? All right. You think? I don't. I, I don't know. I have to listen to the internet. Time, I, <laughs> I have to check with you guys. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. everyone knows about my fixation for red. Yeah. Red isn't bad either. Black and red is pretty sweet. Or it can be also what? Transparent. Transparent and wood yeah. is pretty significant as well. Uh, you can change the, the front panel there as well. Oh, oh, you can make it all black. Oh. Yeah, and you can put the effects on as well if you want effects. Of course I want the effects. Yeah, of course. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And you can change the stand between black or chrome as well at the bottom. Black or yeah, silver? Or, or classic chrome, yeah. So the stand looks like the old rose legs, but it's actually a stand. Self-contained in itself. When you pick uh, any of the coloured lids, the pedal it goes along with it. Goes along with it as well, so it's coordinated to match. Yeah. So what do you say? Is it time that we uh, play this road? Yeah. Yeah. Let's play All it. right. Let's do it. And that the, room. The room through here. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that's from 2010. That's a Mark I 7 remember. MIDI, yeah. Okay. 1984, this one. I remember Chikoria using this on the Electric Band tour. That's right. He had one of only three that were made by Rose that had MIDI. From yeah, the he had a MIDI, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had a MIDI output on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this well, is the two. one I have. Yeah. To be fair, this one hasn't, this one's hardly been played. It's like almost factory fr fresh. It's still really clean inside. Listen, the keys are so light. Yeah. Mark one. Mark one. That's 1979. Yeah. Super wobbly keys. Yeah, super wobbly. But great instrument. But then... And then... <laughs> a Mark 8. See you later.
Dude, I'm I'm speechless. This is this is incredible. I don't think I've ever played a better road than this. It'll go right up. And here's the moment I realized that this guy was a serious keyboard player. Look at my face. Dan Goldman, who is a famous musician and record producer, he has worked with uh, here, more Chiba, uh, more, 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 more Chiba, and also what's oof, Brutes Manuva, and Nightmares on Wax. There, now you know. So, like, right. Ring mod type stuff. So on the next version of the firmware, it goes so fast that it actually becomes a polyphonic oscillator, which you can then lay with the roads. <laughs> so it becomes like a synth laid with the roads. It's unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Come here, give me a hug, man. Pleasure, thank you for coming. Such a pleasure, thank you so much. I, if, if I ever thought in my life that this would happen one day, my mind boggles. And it's such a great feeling playing with you too. Thank you, man, likewise. Yeah, man. yeah great to have you at Leeds and uh, show you the Mark 8. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think that uh, you have to keep an eye on the roads. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And remember to tell me which color I should get it, because I'm really undecided. Go, <laughs> okay, man. Nice one. <laughs>